Hello Pisces, it's your girl Blue Phoenix and I am back with a reading for us today. Thank y'all so much for coming back home to your home planet. I do hope that this message finds you well and if you're not feeling well, you know it's my intentions that you will be by the end of this reading. Y'all, I'm still a little under the weather. I feel so much better <laughs> than I did Friday, but just bear with me, okay? um as i am still a little eh, okay <laughs> all right but anyway come on in if this is your first time here welcome home to Ireland. this place was created just for you so let's get these messages from spirit for us let's see um what can we expect for this week okay pisces i do have on the color yellow today so yellow could be significant all right so some form of enlightenment could be coming to you excuse me this week a leo could be significant all right the solar plexus okay <laughs> could be significant as well all right that's usually located like right down up a hill somewhere a little bit above the navel um it is represented by the color yellow all right and it can also uh represent like willpower courage standing in your power okay speaking those things that I don't know why I just said that, but okay, speaking of those things that are not as though they are is what I was going to say, but I don't think that would be more like the, sh the throat chakra, but hey, maybe you need to hear it, boo. All right, so let's get into it. It says that um, the solar plexus is also associated with self-esteem, sense of purpose, personal identity, individual will, digestion, and metabolism, Okay. Oh, it says when consciousness moves freely in this center, you are empowered by transformative energies. All right. Signs of a blocked solar plexus chakra could be improper processing of nutrients, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, eating disorders, ulcers, diabetes, issues with the pancreas, liver diseases and diseases of the colon. All right, you can also experience difficulty in skillful self-expression. Uh, you could be <laughs> what? aggressive, overly rigid, or controlling, quick to anger, have a victim's mentality, all right, neediness, lack of direction, feeling afraid or lacking courage, poor self-esteem, or feelings of stagnation or inertia. So if you feel any of that, babe, tap into, uh, get into this reading and... Also, just so y'all know, I'm listening to Self Healing Collective once again. It's their solar plexus or solar chakra meditation. All right, so look, y'all, this is the somebody still asked me last time what's the name of the channel? Self Healing Collective, babe. All right, get into it, Pisces. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. What's coming your way this week, Spirit? What is coming Pisces way this week? We have courtship on the bottom of the deck. So time with friends or meeting someone new. All right. What can Pisces expect this week, spirit? I don't like that. It kind of fell in reverse, but it's here. All right. We have despair. And then courthouse on the bottom of the deck. What can Pisces expect this week, spirit? We're going to get a spread and see how it flow. High honor and mature man. Interesting. What can Pisces expect this week, spirit? Something that you may have been concerned about is coming to a head is what I heard. Some kind of energy that could have been weighing you down or just constantly on your mind is something about something coming to a head or you being enlightened about something or resolution or something of that nature. All right. For some of y'all, this could even be dealing with your health. Okay. Something's changing though, because you have 32 on despair, which breaks down to a five, and then you have mature man, which is the number five. All right. We have 25 in the middle, which breaks down to a seven. It's some sort of like action you're gonna take towards a resolution. What can Pisces expect this week, Spirit? whenever they view this video there it is the gift y'all i love it all 
right. Oh my. All right, so we got two more coming out. Then main female and message of concern. All right, so we got three, pe four people out here. Give me a second. Two men, two women, and concern on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what all this concern is about and messages. Wake up, wake up. Five of Cups. What's going on, Pisces? Tell me about this despair spirit. What is despair here for? Give me a second. It's five, five, five. That could be significant. All right. The number seven, the number eight, or the number two as well. Seven of Pentacles. Something, you may feel like something is taking its time to get to you. All right. Whatever this is, it could be a job, money, a relationship, a house, a whatever. All right. What is the despair about for Pisces, please, spirit? What are they so concerned about? You got concern twice in despair. What is this concern? Four of Pentacles. All right. So this could be financial for some of y'all, but also for, for others of you, it is something dealing with your health. Okay. Tell me more about the despair spirit. You could be feeling like you have to um, like really budget right now. What is the despair about? Eight of Swords. The Death and the Emperor. Whoa. Like I said before, it's like you're really in your mind about this. Like how is this going to come about? Where is it going to come from? Where is the assistance? Interesting. Give me a second. You could be feeling like anxious about this with this eight of swords the death and the emperor here whatever this is that you're going through though is something okay so what is needed from them for this despair because it's something that's transforming you into a more powerful position like the the period of your life that you're going through right now this phase you're going through right now y'all we've been getting a lot of this is a test kind of messages, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Because the death in the emperor is like something pulling you out is what I just heard. All right, you can practice affirmations like I am safe, I am stable, all of my needs are met with speed, things like that to try to change this vibration because the four of pentacles with the eight of swords is very much like that'll repel abundance right here. All right, this is feeling like there's no way out. And this is like trying to take control of something that you really don't, it's, it's not like, no force is needed here is what i just heard action is needed you got the the emperor here right he stay ready so he don't have to get ready but force is not needed right here give me a minute i feel like i'm picking up on the energy of someone who is like i've tried this i've tried that i've tried this it's not working what the hell else do i need to do Tell me more, spirit. What is the concern here for Pisces? Damn. Clarity. Trying to figure out which way to go. I heard, which way do I go, boss? Which way do I go? <laughs> okay. And then the seven of wands. Give me more, spirit. What's the despair and concern about for Pisces? It's like direction, not being able to see something clearly. What's the death? Uh-uh. 
Let's do that again. <laughs> Hold up. Like that came out. Something is changing in your finances. Just period. What's the death? You're trying to figure out how to get there. How to get in that place of empowerment. Uh, Aries could be significant. So how do we get that spirit? No, tell me, what's this message of concern? The will of fortune. What's the message of concern? For Pisces, please. The fucking devil. It's something about not forcing a change or forcing something here. Like, it's like I'm seeing someone try to turn like one of them old rusty wheels on a ship. You know what I'm saying? It kind of looked like a, it looks like a wheel trying to turn it to open something. But you trying to take matters into your own hands by like forcing something will literally rip that damn wheel off the wall that's what like it's rusty or something I don't, I don't know how to explain that anyway else any other way what's the message of concern with the devil and the will of fortune please the hermit Something is really affecting you. And it's, it's, it's putting you in an energy here of really, like, excessive. It's like too much thinking, too much trying to figure something out. It's, it's what, what, what do they need to do, Spirit? What energy are they um, needing to embody right now to get through this, this extreme concern? Like, this is, this is overly trying to figure something out so much so that it's having the reverse effect look i'm telling you it's like overly trying to like it's fear anxiety worry stress insomnia tell me about this uh mature man spirit A Virgo, a Capricorn, an Aries could be significant. The Three of Wands. This is growth. This is uncomfortable. That this this change you're going through is very uncomfortable. But it it even though it may not feel like it yet, it's something here that is going to is is going to help you grow into this leadership role this boss energy this emperor okay this stability i heard this knowing okay this is like a test y'all i swear it feels like another fucking test bruh get the fuck up <laughs> why we always gotta get tested all right spirit all right okay <sighs> tell me about the gift spirit Somebody here is about to be awakened to their true potential. So why all the tests? What the fuck? Learning. Learning what? Yep, look, the pa two pages. It's something here about learning to trust your intuition for one. And also, like, <sighs> discovering new aspects of yourself as well. What's the Page of Wands? No. That's too many. You got the Star and the Page of Cups on the bottom, but... The magician, the nine of swords, and the five of wands came out. It's something here about you learning how to tame the beast, okay? How to control your 
you can't really control how to manage your thoughts how to manage your your concerns right how to direct your energy what to give your attention to what to not uh, like what to not focus so much on so what's the advice here spirit for pisces with all this concern what do you suggest they do with the nine of pentacles the four swords is rest recuperation right meditation prayer the nine of of pentacles that's my what single sexy celibate card she's confident look at all that yellow too right look at all that yellow she's confident right she knows what steps to take she knows when not to take steps when to release her concerns and her cares of the world to God and let God handle that shit. Real talk. It's something about also allowing. Give me more spirit. The six of swords. What's up? advice for Pisces please at this time somebody here is is facing their fears too it's something about <sighs> confronting those fears those worries right and putting them in their place like it's <laughs> I heard showing them who's boss okay not allowing yourself to overthink and box yourself in 17 17 on the clock bro L listen 11 11 wake up call code of activation unlocks the subconscious mind synchronicity is miracles an energetic gateway has opened for you perfect time for manifesting it's enlightenment Then you got Fehu on the bottom. Prosperity, luck, abundance, hope, wealth, and fortune. So what's the obstacle here, spirit? Mmm. Mmm. And the Ace of Cups on the bottom. A lot of y'all could be bored just fucking over it just like what the hell is next i'm tired of this shit same shit different day type of energy some of y'all could even be bored at work okay in the work that you're doing lack of inspiration it's something here about tapping into a more creative side pisces getting your creative juices flowing again This dude is like, I'm over it. Like, when is this cycle of my life going to be the fuck over? <laughs> it's something here definitely about meditating, though. Okay? And working towards your goals. All right, spirit. Ooh, you got the moon. I open myself up to expand my consciousness and see what was previously hidden for Pisces please somebody here is you're gonna have to redirect your attention to something that's more productive no worries okay like real talk and once again we've been getting this message a lot too to like be open to receive right this says I'm open to receiving the gift of divine love and then you got the ace of cups right here too alright look the three of pentacles help help okay and then the, the the empress receptivity 
Be open to receive help, especially in some kind of creative form here. All right. I feel like somebody here is going to get some sort of inspiration from an unlikely place or person. Some of y'all are going to be is going to turn some sort of pain into profit or purpose. I'm hearing temperance, like transmuting, like alchemy, alchemizing this situation for your benefit. Anything else, Spirit for Pisces? Oh, Lord. I am being guided towards release, both mentally and emotionally. All right. Then you have, I think before I speak and I listen with compassion. And then on the bottom of the, of the deck is I am spiritually awake and I know I'm destined for so much more. Some of y'all could be going through a spiritual awakening, another level of spiritual awakening. Okay, so just uh, take heed to the message, Pisces. Just be aware if you have any thoughts this week that try to overtake you, try to discourage you, try to confuse you. Put them holes in check. All right. <laughs> try to, you know what I'm saying? Change your vibration. Like. Uh, increase, lift, heighten your vibration, okay? All right? Don't allow this ninja to come in and take, you know what I'm saying, your joy, your happiness, your peace of mind. That's his job. <clears throat> okay? Or drive you into excessive solitude, okay? All right? Because that's definitely, like this right here is literally a block chakra heart chakra remember we talked about that in the video with the little green care bear suit on all right that being like feeling so withdrawn from people it can close off your heart chakra all right make it hard for you to trust others and shit like that but anyway i love you so much pisces i hope this helped don't forget to go check out our second channel um I will be posting a reading over there as well today. So y'all make sure to go check it out. It is Blue Phoenix, the Golden Goddess. It's kind of like our backup channel. But over there we do collective readings and any other like readings that you guys request over there. Um, I do those for you over there. So just go check it out. And if a reading resonates, the title resonates with you, click on it. See what's up. You know what I'm saying? All right, Pisces. I love you so much. Talk to you later, babe. Bye.